Hi everyone, welcome back. So today is part two of my Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. I was waiting for some packages to come in and they're all finally here. Um, I would say if you like anything from this haul, put in your cart now and just wait for the after Christmas sales because I think those will probably be even better than the Black Friday Cyber Monday sales. So looking at my pile, I have Torrid, Old Navy, Unique Vintage, and Abercrombie, and some Disney stuff. So a wide array of things, and I got a lot of tchotchkes to fulfill some shipping minimums. Um, so we will start with the Torrid stuff. I actually had this stuff last time, I just forgot to haul it. That pile last time was so big that I left some stuff out. So we will get started with the skirt. Okay, first this brown skirt. I have something like this from a couple years ago, but it's a little shorter and it actually buttons up the front. So, you know, kind of risking it wardrobe malfunction wise. This has faux buttons down the front, so there is no opening here. So when you sit, it's not gonna gap. It will never unbutton itself and expose you. So I'm a big fan of faux buttons. This does have a little bit of an A-line cut. My other one was definitely just more straight down. I am a cylinder, so it doesn't look too A-line, but it is gradually shooting out from my body. So a very nice fit, I think, on everybody. It does have two little pockets in the front, so if you don't know what to do with your hands, boom, put them right there. I do have to say I really love the length on this. Um, a few of my other skirts, I hate to like keep comparing it to the other brown skirt I have, but that one's a little shorter. This one is meeting right above my knee, so you don't have to constantly be doing this every time you sit down. Like You are fully covered. You can bend over. This is so weird to look at myself like this, um, but fully covered, and you don't have to keep tugging at it. It'll stay where it has to be. So I got this in a 1X, which is my usual size at Torrid. It also has an elastic waistband, so there is room to move in here. It's not gonna be constricting. The waistband will help with the fit. But yeah, when I got this, I kind of envisioned this outfit. A lot of people don't think brown and black go together, but I think this looks cute. Um, I got this lace top from Torrid about a month ago. I don't see it online, but I do see it in stores. They have the white one in store. And I'm waiting for a big sale to happen for that one because I think the white one will look cute with this too. But I paired my other skirt like this with maroon tops, white tops, denim jackets. It's a really good versatile kind of piece. Okay, also from Torrid, and these have gotten a lot of wear out of me in the past couple weeks. I'm always in the market for little booties. They go with every outfit, so you can't go wrong with a little black boot. Um, so these have a little bit of a heel, which I kind of like. Gives me a little bit of lift. I don't need it. I'm five foot eight. I'm usually one of the taller ones in any group I'm in, but I like a little lift. So these have a zipper on either side. So whatever side you wanna, you know, enter from, I find the inside a lot easier. Um, I do have to say with Torrid shoes, they run big. I have four pairs of those sneakers. And after the first one, I sized down half a size. And then after that, I was like, okay, I can go a full size down in this sneaker. And I've had Torrid boots in the past and I did return them for a half size down. I'm usually a 10, Torrid 9.5. I got these in a nine and a half because I thought I'm going down half a size, just like my other Torrid boots, I'll be good. I still have a considerable amount of room in here. Instead of returning these, I just wear big socks, um, but you can go a full size down, even if you have wide feet. I have wide feet, I have big feet, size 10, I should have gotten a size nine. I think that would have been the perfect fit for me. I had already worn these a few times before I was like, this is kind of big, so I'm not gonna return it, you know, go through the hassle and stuff, so a big sock. And now I know for the future, go a full size down in your shoe size. But yeah, other than the little bit of room in there, I am very happy with these. They look really cute. They're easy to get on and off. They're comfortable and they go with every outfit. I think I got these for like $22. So again, watch out for the Torrid sales, especially after Christmas. They're going to be really good. But yeah, I would stock up on shoes with the after Christmas sales. These are really good quality. Just watch out for the fit. Okay, finally from Torrid, I don't have them to show you, but I did get sheer tights and I love them so much. I wore them in the vlog, in the Impractical Jokers vlog, so you can kind of see them in action when I'm ice skating. Um, but that is the sheer kind of quality I was looking for. Um, I do love opaque tights, but they do kind of make me look religious. So I wanted a sheer tight. I think those are very trendy right now. I ended up getting the Torrid ones for $6 and I do have a $15 Torrid birthday reward. So I'm just going to get a few more pairs of sheer tights. They looked really good. They felt amazing. I do have to say, I comparatively, I'm wearing sheer techs right now. I would never pay the $75 that they have for their tights. I got these on sale for 20 and I'm happy with paying 20. I do have to say the Torrid tights, they fit me better on the waist. Um, they never rolled down, I never had to touch them again, and they had a better sheer look. 
um, they did snag a little bit. So with the sheer text, their whole science is that they don't snag. So I did read the reviews and a lot of like the reviews were flight attendants who have to wear tights in their uniform and you know, they swear by them. For me as a casual wearer, if one of my $6 things snags, whatever, I'll use that for a Halloween costume down the road. So I don't know if sheer text is like what I'm in the market for. I'm happy with the $20 ones. They're not as, I went for the sheer, um, design, I guess. Um, and they're still a little more opaque than what I was looking for. Also the waistband on the sheer text did roll down for me. So maybe I have to, that's a sizing issue for me, but, um, had I had paid full price, which is like $75, I would have been uh, a little mad. But then again, I don't need them every day. If you need them every day and you need something that doesn't snag, yeah, go for the more expensive ones. But for me, I think the Torrid, I think full price, they're 15 and I got them on super sale for like six. You know, that is more my lifestyle and what I was looking for. So a little comparison if you needed it. Okay, we will move on to Unique Vintage. They had pretty good Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. So they did more so of a static price. Like instead of 40% off, they were like $30 dresses, $20 tops. And that is more, I think, my speed. Um, they do carry very expensive items. Um, so even 40% off isn't that great. But like, if you know you're getting a dress for 30 bucks, you're like, that's good for me. So I did get, I think, two $20 tops and a $30 dress and then some tchotchkes because I was not paying shipping. I'd rather have a goblet. You will see. So I haven't tried any of this on yet, so this will all be first impressions. This is the one I'm most excited about. Oh, it's backwards. A very gothic kind of dress. This was $30. I'm so excited to try this on, so let's try it. Oh my god, I look like a Victorian ghost and I'm so jazzed about it. Um, I do have to say, single girls beware. This is very hard to zip up. Mine is not zipped up. Usually I can jump and do it. This was not happening in this dress. I did turn it all the way around backwards just to make sure it would zip. It does zip, so the fit is fine, but the maneuvering? Not gonna happen unless you have a buddy. So, although my house is full house or the beginning scene of Home Alone, there's no one here to help me. So, towards the end of the week with my sister here, we're gonna try this because I think this might be a good Christmas day dress. We'll see. Um, velvet finish on the like embroidery on here. It's so gorgeous. And then once this is all secured, this is gonna be like a little mock neck. Then we have faux buttons up here. There is an attached lining, like the dress inside is all attached. So you don't have to worry about it slipping or moving. Everything is all attached inside. This is really gorgeous to me. I can see it not being most people's cup of tea. I, like I said, I do kind of look like a ghost. That's okay. That's the look I really like. Um, I just think this is gorgeous. And for $30, I'm so jazzed I got like a really well made piece for $30. I did get this in a 1X. Um, I do think if you're my size, go for the two. Um, just because like I, like I said, I did get it zipped when I had it backwards, but I think a two would have been like, whoop, like instead of me going like, oh, let me just tuck my boob, you know. I think a two would be better if you were my size and wanted this dress. I did get an outerwear piece. So this is like a cape jacket. I don't know how I'm going to get in here, but I'm going to try it. Um, I was torn on getting one of these from Bloom Chic. They had a few different color options. They looked really cute, but since I wanted to get up to the free shipping minimum on Unique Vintage, I just got this one from Unique Vintage. So this was probably the most expensive item. This one wasn't a static price deal. I think this one was just like 50% off, but if you like the style of these, Bloom Chic has them for like $38. So we'll try getting in here. Oh my God, I feel regal as hell. So this is like a cape. I don't know if I did it right. So this, I at least knew like, that's how you enter. So you can just unbutton these, put it on. We're good. Um, there is like a tie section here though. So this is gonna look like an apron. So it ties around the back, but I don't know if it was supposed to tie on the side or if there's some kind of loop I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna have to like refer back to the picture, but as like an easy little over piece this looks so nice okay once again i probably look like the bird lady from home alone 2 to most of you but like to me i look like queen elizabeth i don't know um i think this looks really nice a very put together third piece like you don't want to put on a bulky coat 
put on this case. Again, I don't know how to tie these or what I'm doing, but I think this will be my Christmas day outerwear piece. Is it offering me any source of warmth? No, but again, it looks really cool. So I'm happy with this. Probably paid a little too much, but like, I really like it. All right, I'll search for some pants because now we have some tops. Okay, I did want to mention the cape was a 1X. I feel like you don't really need a size in a cape, but in case you were wondering about like neck girth or whatever, girth is such a gross word, um, the 1X fit just fine. So moving on to this top, this was $20 and I'm so jazzed about this. This is also in a 1X and I was a little nervous buttoning it up because it is a button up and it's a woven top. So there is no give in here. But I have plenty of room. There's no gapping whatsoever on the button. So very happy with the 1X in this top. I'm usually good with the 1X at Unique Vintage, although there was that disaster dress from the last haul that was way too small. So even I try and research like YouTube wise, Instagram wise, trying to look for someone who's around my size and seeing what size they got. So hopefully this is helpful to one person out there. So the 1X is fine in this button-up shirt. Um, I'm wearing it with jeans just because that's the first thing I grabbed, but like me, I would definitely wear this with like a little skirt. How cute would that be? Um, I would have preferred a flutter sleeve, but that's just me. So there is a little, not a cap sleeve, but it is kind of short, but they do have ties on here just to jazz it up. But yeah, overall, I'm very happy with this. Like I said, there's no gapping on the buttons. There's no tightness. Again, with a woven, I sometimes run the risk of it being like really tight across my chest or back. I'm not getting that in this top. So very happy with a $20 find. Okay. I love how it's just like, oh, I think the fit is pretty good across the board here, but no. Then I put on this top and from afar, it looks cute. This is a style I love with a nice big bow up here. Um, we got like a three dimensional. Oh God. What is that word? Polka dot. Wow. Losing my marbles. Um, I don't mind the length of it. It is a little cropped, but I do have to say the cut on the armholes, it feels like I'm wearing a backpack. There is a very distinct digging. See this, the arm seam digging into my armpits. Like <sighs> it's still wearable, but like as a former fit model, I would immediately call this out as a defect, I guess. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Like I really do not like that. It's like a very obvious, you feel this kind of thing, like completely in my armpit. So the armhole is not big enough, I would say. Um, I still might wear this. I think returning on Unique Vintage is kind of a hassle. It's like $8 to return it, and that's just like not worth it to me. I'd rather give this to my mom who has, you know, a different shape than me, see if it works on her. I'd rather, you know, pass it off onto someone than pay $8. That is my life. So again, with a top like this, I was hoping to pair it with like a skirt. Oh, that looks so good. Um, but it works with jeans too. I would actually tuck it in, but I was, definitely thinking this but oh that's like that's that's annoying um this was another $20 top and now I can see why it was $20 um but the look of it I love everything about it but these armholes are not it so even after me telling you this and you're still like I kind of want this go a full size up this is in a 1x slash 16 I would go for a 2x I don't know if that armhole thing is gonna be better or remedied in a 2X. This is wearable, like I could get through a day like this, but like the whole day you're gonna be thinking, God, that's annoying. So the armhole is not big enough on here. But again, that's what I'm here for, to let you know if certain items do not work and this does not work. Okay, let's move on to some comfy clothes. So this is a pullover from Abercrombie. I have the cropped version of this in green. I wear it all the time. So I knew I wanted the full length version. And then I was like, I'll wait till Cyber Monday sales. You know, I'm not gonna pay full price at Abercrombie. But even after sales, this one ended up being around 45, but I'm okay with that because I wear the cropped one so much that I know I'm gonna wear the full length version even more. Um, I couldn't time it right with one of those $10 coupons, but like, 
next time I will. So I got this in a like taupey kind of color. It definitely comes off more brown in person. I got this in an XL and I'm very happy with the fit. If you want an even more relaxed fit, go for the XXL, but I'm cool with the XL. So it is a half zip. You can go all the way up if you want to. There's still enough room, but I'll probably wear it like, you know, a little bit more relaxed. It is you know, there's a seam right across the boobs. Like, and this is like my boob equator. So there's still a lot going on underneath here. Um, that doesn't bother me too much. That is the style of a sweater like this. And it's not like cutting me off, but I just, I, no one loves a seam right, calling attention to the biggest part of their chest, you know? Um, but other than that, this is just gonna be like a lounge piece for me going out for a long walk. This is super warm, very insulated, very fuzzy on the inside. Um, you know, something to wear on errands, something to wear in the house. So the look doesn't bother me too much. Um, this is all about being comfy and this nails it. Okay, finally, the last item of clothing. So this is from Old Navy. These are the Old Navy Power Soft Joggers. So as you know, my favorite, all time favorite joggers are the Athleta ones, but those are like $89. You know, treat yourself every once in a while, but like kind of expensive if you're me. Um, so over the summer, I tried a few different other options and I did already have a pair of these Old Navy joggers and I feel like I was wearing them so much lately that gearing up towards Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I was like, I have to get more pairs. So I did get a second pair of the Old Navy joggers. Um, I think they go for like $30, which is a steal on its own, but Old Navy regularly does 50% off. So again, pop these in your cart and just wait for a 50% off day because you can get these for $15, which is what I did. Um, they're not as soft as the Athleta Salutation Jogger, but like a pretty good close second and these will never pill. Um, they're still soft, but they still have the athletic kind of sheen, but that helps with the non-pilling, you know, kind of aspect. But I just feel so good in these. They're like a second skin, but a little bit more relaxed. That's what makes them a jogger. But basically the fit of a legging without feeling anything on your skin. So I wear these mainly for lounging and sleeping, but I have taken them on really long walks, like two hour walks. I get no chafing. The waistband stays where it is the entire time. So I get these in an XL. And like I said, they feel amazing all day. Nothing is digging, nothing's rolling. You pop these on your waist and they don't go anywhere. So the fit is amazing. The price is even better. If you're gonna stock up on one thing, I think it should be the Old Navy jogger. So again, these are the Power Soft Ankle Jogger in the high rise in an XL. As always, everything will be linked down below. So now we'll do all the tchotchkes and stuff I got. Um, let's see. Also from Old Navy. So Betty is right there. I would pick her up, but she looks very comfy. She has a cute little bandana that we got at the groomer, but my mom wanted like a buffalo plaid for Betty and I knew Old Navy had dog bandanas. So I got Betty a little buffalo plaid bandana and it came with a matching scrunchie. So I'll wear the scrunchie. Betty will wear the bandana and it'll be very, very cute. Also, since it was Black Friday, Cyber Monday and everything was like 50, 60% off, it was the time of year to stock up on new socks. I only buy black socks. That way I always have a match. And I got three packages of 10. So I have 30 new pairs of socks. That'll be great going into 2023 with. Um, then I like to get a Christmas ornament anytime I travel. I do miss cities here and there. And I was on Shop Disney on Cyber Monday for some other reason that I can't recall, but I was like, I never got an ornament when I went to Disneyland. Um, so I got two, they were 50% off. So I spent $30 total, which is kind of a lot for ornaments, but like, pretty good considering it's Disney. I don't know. Um, so this is Mickey and Minnie caroling in a little ice cube. Mm. It says 2022 on it though. So I like to get something that says the place and the year if I can. So this one didn't say Disneyland, but it did say 2022. And then this one did say Disneyland, but it doesn't say 2022. So I had to get two. I was I was, you know, on a shopping high. So that's what happened here. Um, so the other one is Mickey and Minnie in a snow globe at Disneyland. So yes, a little bit of a splurge, a little unnecessary purchase, but like treat yourself. Okay, another thing I stocked up on in 2015, I was an absolute Mary Luminizer stan. This was my go-to highlighter. 
Um, I've tried other ones in the, you know, the years following and I always have gone back to this. So this is from The Balm. Um, like I said, it's called the Mary Luminizer. This was like a cult favorite for years in like the mid aughts, you know? Um, but this just works so well on me. It gives like the perfect glow. Like I said, I've tried other ones. They're good, but I had to come back to this. I did mention I had to fulfill the shipping minimum at Unique Vintage. Um, so I had to get a few little tchotchkes. So I got another Christmas ornament. Um, we are campers. My parents have a camper. And I was like, oh, we'll put this cute little vintage camper with a tree on top on our tree. There's about five of these in various sizes already on my family's Christmas tree. So this one will be for me. Um, but it was like $4 after the unique vintage sales. Um, and again, I was trying to get up to the shipping minimum. I'd rather have stuff than pay $8. Then I got this little fox trinket dish. It says for like rings, coins, or catch-alls, whatever. I'll just, you know, put little like perfume samplers on here or something, but easy little decor piece. Again, I was like so close to the shipping thing, so huge pair of fluffy Christmas socks. Why not? And then I think my most ridiculous purchase. A goblet why not I just thought this was so cool um, really sturdy why not have a freaking goblet for me to drink Mountain Dew out of <laughs> um, and I think this was like eight dollars after the deals should I start an ASMR channel I did ask for a microphone for Christmas why um but yeah a goblet why not all right I think that's everything um, we had some hit and misses at unique vintage I always have a win at Old Navy, get those joggers, and a lot of other stuff. But like I said, I don't think I did as much damage as I did last year. I, you know, I reined myself in and I got a lot of things that I knew I would need. So socks, bras, you know, and then I had some fun. But yeah, that is finally everything I got from Black Friday, Cyber Monday, a full month later. Um, <laughs> but I do think it's interesting to see what people actually buy. Like, yeah, I have like my influencer things I get to show you, but like, this is the comfy clothes that I wear most of the time. Um, so as always, all my sizes will be down below. All my links will be down below. All the links for these items, if they're still available, will be down below. There will be a lot of after Christmas sales. So look out for those. You could probably get a lot of this, like 50% off. But yeah, the long awaited part two. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.